Hi, this is Scoggett, and today what I'm doing is I'm doing a beer review, and uh, this uh, beer review was uh, requested by one of my viewers and subscribers, uh, which goes by the name of Tha Swai. That's spelled T H A S W I. And uh, I want to go ahead and give you a shout out, uh, Tha Swai. I hope I'm saying that right. And uh, uh, he wanted me to do a, a video on the Lone Star Light. Uh, I tasted this beer, I believe it was, oh, it's been several, several years ago. And uh, I'm going to do a review on it. I can't, I can't re really remember uh, uh, everything about it. So it's, it's good because it's going to bring back a, a deal where where I'm gonna be reviewing kind of like a, a new beer. Cause I, I drink the regular Lone Star. I don't drink the light. So this is a, gonna be a pretty interesting uh, uh, video here. And a really uh, honest uh, review and uh, everything. And I appreciate you, uh, Thai Swai, for uh, uh, bringing this to my attention cause I never would have made a uh, review on the light. I, I completely forgot all about it. So, anyway, uh, going ahead and show you the label. Uh, as you can see, it's a, in a blue label instead of the uh, red of the uh, original. And let me see. Of course, you know it's uh, uh, says National Beer of Texas, and it's uh, brewed in. Uh, Fort Worth, Texas, and let me see, it's uh, Lone Star Brewing, Fort Worth, Texas. Of course, you know, they used to be in San Antonio, then they moved to Fort Worth for some reason, and I don't know what they did with the brewery in San Antonio. Uh, I can't see a alcohol by volume anymore. And I have a problem seeing because I can only see out of one eye. My other eye is blind. Uh, but anyway, uh, I don't know what the alcohol volume is on this. I'm probably thinking maybe a 4.5, uh, maybe a 5 uh, because uh, that's what the other Lone Star is. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get busy and uh, review this. Got my trusty uh, Big Reggie uh, opener. Going to open it up. Give a shout out to you, my brother Big Reggie over there, Vegas. And uh, going to pour this and see what we got. Well, similar to the uh, uh, traditional uh, beer, the regular Lone Star, but I can tell already that it's a lot lighter in color. It has a lot lighter in color, a uh, real light amber color. Head didn't last too long, but there's still there, and there's a lot of carbonation in it. Uh, so, uh, I guess that's a good thing. Now the head is almost completely dissipating. We're going to go ahead and I can smell like the uh, uh, smells like uh, barley malt. Uh, there's a kind of like a hoppy smell to it. It's got a good smell, good beer smell. It's got a pleasant aroma to it. And uh, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and give it a taste.
has a, a kind of a burn to it in your mouth. Like, like my mouth, is, I can feel a burn, like kind of a, a bold burn to it. Uh, it's not got hardly any aftertaste. There's a little bit of aftertaste there, not a whole lot. It tastes uh, like regular Lone Star. The only thing is, it's a lot lighter. It's got a lot, lot mellower taste than the regular Lone Star. It's like kind of smoothed out. Uh, best way to describe it is uh, you got a, a bold uh, uh, taste of, of the Lone Star, just a really, like a really bold taste, and then you got the same taste of a Lone Star just mellowed out and uh, that's what I'm noticing here it's got a good feel in the mouth also with like I say it's got like a slight aftertaste rate my beers from uh, 1 to 5 with 1 being the lowest 5 being the highest uh, I'd have to rate this one probably a four. Uh, it's a good beer, uh, don't get me wrong, but it's not something what I'm going to start buying. I like the, the flavor of the original Lone Star. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this beer. If you, if you want a, a mellow uh, tasting beer, uh, and a little bit lighter than the, than the Lone Star, if you, if, Drink Lone Star and you want something a little bit lighter, then this is the beer to go with. If you never tasted Lone Star, uh, then I suggest that maybe you try both. Uh, give both of them a try and see which one you like best. Uh, I know there's people that really goes for the light beers, and there's uh, people that uh, goes for the, the original. So it's nothing wrong. It's both anything is good there. But like I say, I give this a four. It's not a bad tasting beer at all. I just uh, uh, like more of a punch to it. Uh, if it had the punch one, the regular Lone Star have, I'll give it a five. But uh, you can try it for yourself if you can get Lone Star in your area. Uh, and I want to also, like I say, give another shout out to uh, Thai Swai. That's T H A S W I for uh, bringing this to my attention. I, I really appreciate you, my friend. It's uh, I never would have even uh, thought about doing this, but you uh, brought it to my attention. So this is your uh, review. So really appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. If you ever get a chance to uh, taste Lone Star, whether it's a light, whether it's uh, the original, then go ahead and do it. Uh, you can make your own opinion there. Uh, this is Scoggett. Appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. And y'all take care.